Hey guys, Paranormal Video Gamer here. So I had a whole bunch of people on Facebook and Instagram send me messages saying that I should look for something called the Sci-Fi and Horror Blind Bag. Um, they said that you can find it pretty much anywhere. And I found one right here. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to switch the camera around though just because of the fact that uh, I want to actually open the actual bag itself and then... I can discover what is inside and you can take a look and see what's inside at least my bag it's supposed to be like a mystery bag it says uh, $25 worth of toys and collectibles for $10 I'm gonna tell you right now I didn't pay $10 for this um, I paid I think it was $7 and 99 cents um, I think that they've had this on the shelf for a little while I'm gonna take a guess um, and that's why I only paid $7.99. So we'll see if there's $25 worth of value in here. Um, or if it's just stuff that's just fun. I like horror stuff. I like video game stuff. So this should be interesting. So while I got the PlayStation 4 uh, loaded up and all that for later on tonight. Here is the blind bag. It says the sci-fi and horror blind bag says out of here out of this world items $25 worth of toys and collectibles packed with scary collectibles then again it shows what they suggest I'm assuming that's the suggested price not necessarily the price you could pick it up for um, so this looked interesting I said to myself you know I like horror stuff I like sci-fi stuff I'm a big Star Trek fan. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but I do respect Star Wars and all of its stuff. I do like certain things about Star Wars, um, but there's a lot of things in Star Wars that I just never got into. I'm not, like, bad-mouthing it or anything like that. Again, I am a fan of Star Wars. I'm just more of a Star Trek fan. So hopefully there's something Star Trek, because it says sci-fi. Um... There's something more Star Trek than Star Wars in here. If there is Star Wars stuff in here, that's cool. Um, it's going to go in the game room. So I'm going to get my my trusty little blade here. And I'm just going to cut the top of the bag. I'm trying to do this with one hand, by the way. Not exactly fun, but we'll get it done. All right, opened up the bag. So we're going to just stick our hand in here. Alright. Number one. Godzilla. Scalers. Interesting. I do like Godzilla. Godzilla is actually kind of cool. Kind of weird that they have Godzilla that looks like that. But it's kind of cool looking. It's got a little dent to it. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit of a dent to it. I don't know if that actually affects the value. Um, and I'm sorry, uh, I was outside in the garden, so if you're wondering how come my hands are a little dirty, um, I was actually outside, I actually had a plant up plant, and I washed my hands, but the part of the dirt just didn't want to come off. Alright, so Godzilla, here we go. Alright, not bad, not bad. I'll take it kind of cool all right what is the next thing what is this this looks like oh this is actually a camp uh, crystal lake it's a little pendant interesting well that's cool i like friday the 13th i could put that up on one of the walls in the game room and actually have that set aside that's actually very cool all right very very interesting put that aside all right number three what is this foam mad balls foam series looks like a little like a zombie head with a lock on the lip interesting it's definitely I know you can't tell. It doesn't squeak or anything. I thought maybe at first it was a dog toy. Um, but it says collect them all. So I've got 
what looks like lock lips. That's who I have. So I got lock lips on it. Very, very interesting. Okay, put that aside. And that's it. There's literally nothing else in the bag. So three items in the bag. They're estimating to be about $25, so $7.99. I don't know if there's $25 worth of value in here, but I'm going to look up prices, and then uh, I'll give you my final thoughts on the value. Again, there's nothing left in it, just three items in the bag. So, is it worth it? Find out in a minute. Okay, after looking up some prices, I can give you a basic estimate of how much these items were worth online and in some of the stores now. Uh, this, apparently, the Camp Crystal Lake thing was going for about $12 overall. Uh, the Godzilla thing here is going for about $10, so uh, that's about $20 there. This kind of surprised me. Uh, on Walmart, they're sold out of them, and I'll show the actual screenshot that I, I have. It lists it as $28 that it went for, and it is completely sold out. So, you add up, that's about $40 worth of stuff. Now, that's an estimated guess. I don't know exactly how much, if I were to sell this stuff, how much it would actually bring in. I mean, for all we know, this could bring in $5, this could bring in $5, and this would probably bring in 20 that's still $30 right there. Is it worth it for three items? Based on the estimated value, I don't think so. I think for what you should have gotten in the bag, I would have, I would have thought that you'd get more than just three items in a bag. I would think that, I mean, this is a pretty big bag. I mean, that's a huge bag for just three items in the bag. I would have thought that you would have gotten out of a bag, and this is just my take on it, I would think there'd be at least 10 items in the bag, not three. I was expecting like a pin, some stickers, something like that. I can't say that this is worth the money in value, even if this does sell for let's say $25, okay? That pretty much has paid for the bag plus all the other stuff that what I paid okay even with that being said is there good value compared to what you're spending again if this had not been in the bag this probably wouldn't even be a factor but because this was sold last time I as far as I could tell for $28 again the value is there not saying it isn't but is it worth it for three items again at least not for me. Maybe somebody out there thinks that three three items is enough. I would have preferred some Star Trek stuff, some Star Wars stuff. Even though I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, I would have preferred to have like maybe a little tiny figurine kind of like this. Um, maybe stuff out of the package that is stuff like that. Not necessarily anything that actually is packaged. And I mean, again, this actually has a dent in it. So, I mean, I'm looking at that. Because I don't know if that's going to affect the value. I would hope not. But again, I mean, that's that's a pretty big indentation. It's not even on the box. It's actually inside the actual paper. So that's part of the manufacturing process. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I have no clue. It's something I'm going to have to look up. But my recommendation is... It is not worth the money to spend, you know, even if you spend $7.99, at least for me, three items for $7.99, not really worth it, at least for me. Again, I was hoping for more, and maybe you guys will have better luck if you find one of these in the store and buy, but this is what I got out of the bag, and it is what it is, so definitely would not recommend 
definitely would not recommend you spend more than I'm gonna say five dollars and ninety nine cents for the bag. Definitely do not spend $10. I think $10 is way too much. Again, even if this is $28, okay, and you spend $10 on it, there's no guarantee that you're going to get $25 or even $20 for this. There are some people out there that will nickel and dime you and try to get you to go to the lowest price. They'll probably try to say, oh, this is only worth $5. You're going to have that. But the Camp Crystal Lake thing is cool. I think this is the coolest thing. This is pretty cool. Again, I like Godzilla. This, not bad. It's kind of weird looking. But again, it's something that's going to go in the game room. So, it's interesting. Definitely interesting. And that's my take on it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, next time guys, I'm Paranormal Video Gamer. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.